well hello um, here we are again I said I'd do a video on the uh, Defender which I've had almost two months now um, I filmed it at a local um, old Second World War control tower um, which I'll go into more details while I walk around first I'll do a quick review on the car what I've had done to it and uh, how it's been performing since I've had it two months now um, last time I did the video I was in a, a, a Defender 130 that Aberystwyth Land Rover had lent me for the day while this was having some parts fitted uh, but there were still shortages lead time issues uh, stuff like that so basically I've had the the mud the, 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 the wheel arches fitted now that was the last thing to be fitted they were fitted last last Friday um, I basically had them sprayed to, to match the colour of the car uh, the, uh, the box on the sides has been fitted and the side steps have been fitted as well um, I've also added some extra parts. The roof rack was at my old Defender and the wheel cover was at my old Defender, the uh, 2 litre first, ed uh, first, first edition, uh, which I did a video of uh, not so long ago. Um, I've also had a few extras fitted to it. Um, as you can see inside, I've had the tray fitted. Uh, inside there it just gives you a bit more space to put stuff um, that I purchased from powerful UK from Simon's company um, very good company I've purchased over the years different stuff from Simon's Simon because um, he does do some very good stuff one of the main things that it does do, which is very good, is the um, indicators and reversing lights. So I've just fitted them myself. That makes hell of a difference, because when you're reversing, it's so dark, because the original Defender reversing light is that little thing there, which doesn't throw out much light. So since fitting these, much better. Also fitted the tail from fin from Powerful UK. Um, fitted that myself. Um, yeah, and I've also fitted the uh, cover for the the, uh, the bumper, which is great because of the dog. She scratches the um, the bumpers because obviously this is all matching black. Um, also got the dog guards fitted now as you can see this has got this um, when he ordered this vehicle he ordered it with a country pack which comes with the shower kit water shower kit which is great for the dog because we live near the beach and um, it washes all the sand off it so we're going in the car that's another thing from powerful UK is a surround for the tow bar switch and air suspension. Uh, but the side steps look really good, painted black. Um, the snorkel I've also had painted black to match in with the, the body of the, the car. The um, roof, roof lights are from uh, Vulcan which are very good, they are very bright when you turn them on and also I had the 110 transfer fitted last week while it was up having the final bits and pieces added to it the wheels um, people say you're going to go for the black wheels I quite like the, the, these wheels um, but it looks quite good so overall I'm quite chuffed with the car itself um, I've done 1,000, I think it's 750 or something like that now, um, which is good, I've had no problems whatsoever, um, 
which I didn't with my last defender, which is a two litre. Um, I'm averaging it on a good run and taking it easy, about 33 to MPG to the gallon, which is quite good, that really, for a three litre. Anyhow, let's have a quick nosy round of the uh, control tower. So basically the control tower has been uh, refurbished. It was originally um, after the war used as a cattle, cattle shed. Um, so the volunteers here, which I'm a volunteer at, at Carew Cheriton Control Tower here in Pembrokeshire, uh, refurbished it and did it all up back to its original uh, how it was during the Second World War um, I've not got the keys on me at the moment but if anybody's interested in um, put the, give me the thumbs up and you know send me a uh, request and I'll, I'll, I'll try and do a video inside it this originally was the the airfield in the First World War it was um, Royal Naval uh, Airship Station for Coastal Command. So just where we're looking now, out over them field, there used to be some big hangars where they were stationed the, the airships. Um, last week we got the, I got my drone up and we took some photos and we could see the old hangars where the, the, the spaceships used to be. You could see the imprints of uh, the, the, the feet with the feet of the hangars as you can see that's part of the old runway over there this is our museum building um, here let's have a walk round to the side there the we have a, an, an old air raid shelter as you will notice, this air raid shelter is above ground. Originally in the Second World War, it would have been underground. Uh, but when they renewed the bypass, which is just over the edge over there, uh, they had to dig new road, put the new road in. And obviously there's a lot of these old air raid shelters away. And the construction company dug the air raid shelter and donated it to us and uh, helped us set it up so what we've done we set it up above ground really so we got got wheel wheelchair access and um, stuff like that so the blue building in the background over there is um, our workshop we have a Navro Hanson uh, 1946 that we're restoring at the moment that was Obviously not Second World War, but it, uh, there was Avro Hansen aircraft that flew from here. And uh, let's have a look up here. As you can see, the last video I did, just over in the back there, was Carew Castle. Um, which you can't see from here, but we're about less than a mile away from it. see the main runway is where the big big buildings is there some of the caravans over there are on part of the, the runway um, yeah it took some restoring this um, if I had the keys I'd have walked and talk, you know, took you inside showed you around and there we go um, hope you enjoyed the video if you like it please let me know thanks for watching